What's up everyone, Steven here with techmaker.tv. In this new series, we're actually working on building out a decentralized chat application with Node.js and Aleph.im. It's still a work in progress, but as you can see on my screen, we've got a real-time uh, connection set up here where we're posting messages to the Aleph network, and you can see them show up on both screens at the same time. The UI is not quite perfect yet, but you can see it's working. It's connected to the left.im network via WebSockets, and we're running Node.js on the back end. If you're not familiar with Alef, it is a decentralized cloud computing network. So think of it as kind of a decentralized AWS. So you have your code or your data running across a decentralized network uh, so that nobody in particular could just turn off your app or delete your data uh, spontaneously because they decide to. Um, it's decentralized so they would have to go through some sort of decentralized network process in order to kick you off. So it's a lot more uh, censorship resistant than suppose AWS or something like that where one company can just pull a, a lever and uh, kick you off the network. This sort of network has some other interesting properties as well and if we go over here to the Explorer uh, we should see that we have some chat come in. Uh, this is probably from us a couple minutes ago. Let's click on this and see what it has. So we have hi there. So this is the message we just posted. And you can see this is on explore.alef.im. So this is a global public network. And what's interesting about this is we can sort of design our own data protocols, if you will. And uh, if other applications wanted to use our data, so suppose, for example, um, we want to build sort of a social network protocol. So we have a certain set of data objects that we design and we publish some documentation about it or whatever. And we build the user interface on top of that data. Well, we could, in theory, build it on top of something like Alef, where we, we push data out into their network and then somebody else comes along and says, hey, I think I could build something interesting that works on that data and just do a different user interface. So this network makes things like that possible. Um, this series is really not necessarily a prescriptive approach. I'm more or less just exploring how all of this works and uh, kind of getting my head around it, how I can use it. If you follow this channel, you know we call it Tech Maker because I like to make different things and the channel is really about just kind of working through problems together. So I'm really interested in this. I'm interested in to see uh, exactly where it all can go. And um, if you're seeing this, then you're seeing uh, kind of, we're about seven episodes into this chat here. Um, you may recognize this UI if you've been following the channel. We pulled this from another uh, series we did on Rails. In any case, I just wanted to introduce you to the project and show you kind of what we're doing. The UI is going to get a lot better as we go. Um, it's going to be really, really nice at the end. I think one cool thing that we're going to have at the end of this is an open source project where, in theory, if anybody else wanted to, they could download the source code and run it and then jump on their chat that's running on their computer and talk to people who are also running the same source code. So it's kind of a cool theory idea. Um, and then you could build out your own user interface, change it how you want, make it more convenient for what you want, or even deploy an application um, on top of it. So it's going to be kind of cool. Um, but with that said, I just kind of wanted to do a little quick intro and show you where, where we're headed with this. Um, and I'll be putting out more demos as we get further along and it looks better. So Anyway, hope this is cool and interesting and exciting for you. If it is, uh, definitely check out the series, and uh, I'll talk to you uh, in the next episode.